today, people in the neighborhood of Hilton Head Court told us they heard about what had happened, but didn't live here back then. It was a long time ago, 2003, when the unthinkable was discovered. My son is in the apartment and he's not coming out. <laughs> Do I know what's going on? It took nearly 17 years to find out. On the afternoon of October 5th, human legs were found in a dumpster at an apartment complex. The medical examiner determined they were that of an adult female. The cause of death unknown, the manner of death, homicide. People of the Southeast, what's happening? Today I'm bringing you all a story that comes out of Rancho San Diego, a suburban neighborhood 20 minutes east of San Diego that involves an elderly woman from Temecula, California, who was murdered and dismembered by her husband just two decades ago at the time of me making this video. Now, sometimes I might not always be able to give you all the full details on some of these cases, being that some of them might still be open. But as for this case, this one is 21 years old at the time of me making this video, and the suspect has already been charged. So all I can do for now is give you the story and give you a little bit of information on the victim and the suspect. So like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos in the future. Let's get to it. On the morning of Sunday, October 5th, 2003, authorities would make a gruesome discovery after finding a pair of dismembered legs in the dumpster of a Rancho San Diego apartment complex after a maintenance worker would discover them. Medical examiners were able to perform an autopsy on the legs, determining that they belonged to an adult female. But according to investigators, the victim's identity and the circumstances of her death remained a mystery for about 17 years, classifying her as a Jane Doe. But in December of 2020, homicide and cold case investigators began using investigative genetic genealogical techniques to find the identity of the victim, locating the victim's adult son, who would then identify her as 54-year-old Lori Potter of Temecula, California. As News Ace David Goffertson reports, building a family tree, detectives were able to identify the victim whose dismembered body was found inside a dumpster in 2003. When they arrived, they found a pair of women's legs in the dumpster. It was a gruesome scene in Rancho San Diego on October 5th, 2003. Body parts found in a dumpster. The medical examiner conducted an autopsy and determined the legs were that of an adult female. The victim remained unidentified for years until the San Diego County Sheriff's Department started comparing DNA from the body parts to DNA that had been uploaded to a publicly available family tree database. I then got a familial match of somebody who's related but very distant, third or fourth cousin away. For six months, Detective Troy Dugal tracked the victim's family tree from the 1800s to present day when he finally identified the victim's son. DNA testing confirmed the murdered woman was 54-year-old Lori Diane Potter. Lori was never reported as a missing person. This case would have unlikely to have ever been solved without the use of investigative genetic genealogy. Once Potter was identified, they used old-fashioned detective work to identify a suspect. The woman's husband, 68-year-old Jack Potter, was arrested Wednesday at his home in Rancho Cucamonga. It turns out, Lori was never reported missing by anybody, and being that she had a strange relationship with her family, they never even knew where she was living at the time of her disappearance, assuming that she was still alive for the past 17 years. So investigators would end up doing a little bit more research on who Lori was, and they would soon find out she had a husband at the time of her disappearance, making him their prime suspect, being that he never reported his wife as a missing person as well. And on May 12, 2021, just seven months after investigators would find out the identity of Lori, they would go and arrest her husband, Jack Potter, who was only 51 years old at the time of his wife's disappearance at his home in Rancho Cucamonga, California, taking him into custody on suspicion of murder, later upgrading his charges to first-degree murder after investigators found substantial and convincing amount of evidence that Mr. Potter had murdered his wife. So you are Jack Dennis Potter? Yes. Jack Dennis Potter pleaded not guilty Thursday to first-degree murder and three counts of perjury. The alleged victim, his wife, 54-year-old Lori Potter. You agree that your preliminary hearing can be heard on 10-4-2021. Do you agree to that, sir? Yes. Thank you. Yes. 
The woman's legs were found inside a dumpster in 2003 in Rancho San Diego. Lori Potter was never reported missing though and went unidentified for nearly two decades. Cold case detectives reopened the case in 2020 and tracked down the woman's adult son using investigative genetic genealogy, the same method used to identify the Golden State Killer. This is the first case in San Diego where we've used uh, genetic genealogy to identify a victim in a case. Prosecutor Brian Erickson works in the district attorney's cold case unit. He says genetic genealogy is helping solve previously unsolvable crimes. It's really awesome to see because it brings such closure and it's, it's great to see technology being used to, to help so many people. The motive for the alleged murder of Lori Potter was not disclosed in court. Officers arrested the 68-year-old computer consultant last week at his home in Rancho Cucamonga. The perjury charges stem from a divorce case the husband filed in 2008, where he declared under penalty of perjury that his wife had been served the divorce papers. Approximately five years after she was murdered, he was able to divorce her, which is all you know, public records. The judge ordered the defendant, who has no prior criminal history, held without bail. Potter will be back in court in August for a status conference. Carlo? David, this is such a gruesome case. Did they ever find the rest of the victim's body? No, unfortunately not. The prosecutor told me today they only found her legs here in San Diego and they believe the couple was living in Temecula at the time of the murder and they're still trying to put together a timeline of their relationship. So if you knew the Potters in the 80s or even in the 90s, uh, call San Diego Sheriff's Department. They'd like to get any information. Long delayed justice. David Gottfriedson reporting. Thanks, David. Authorities believe that Lori was killed between the days of October 3rd or October 4th, but they still don't know how she died, being that they never recovered the rest of her body. And Jack Potter, who is now 68 years old, wouldn't give detectives any information on where his wife's body could be, so all they can do for now is charge him for her murder, also hitting him with three felony counts of perjury he committed in 2008 to 2009, after he would forge his wife's signature on divorce papers just five years after he murdered her. Now, if Mr. Potter gets found guilty, which he will, he faces up to life in state prison. And just like that, folks, this concludes all the knowledge I have on this case. I would like to thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos in the future. I'm out.